Next, I'd like to bring to stage um, a gentleman that's got in excess of 36 years in the industry. He has co-founded another very successful network marketing company. You've seen him a couple of months ago. He's here again. He's our favorite Texan. Please welcome to the stage, Dennis Windsor. What's happening? Good morning. It is freezing in here. <laughs> Anybody else feel that way? There's a lady right there with a coat on, on the front of her chest. This is crazy. I think it's 38, I just looked, it's like 38 degrees in my home right this minute. And that's at nighttime, it's not fair. <laughs> I am so thrilled to be here. You guys excited this morning? How many coyotes do we have in the room? None. How many wolves do we have in the room? Come on. I, lo I love the, the, some of the points that Chris uh, came out with. And I love this industry. We're going to talk a lot through that today. And I just, if the main thing I could tell you from his presentation is that every one of you um, can be an apex leader because this industry the company, the system that we have, the leadership develop, development that we have, every single one of you can be leading that. There's no doubt about it. And of a product launch, I thought Dr. Tyson did a great job. Let's give him another hand, come on. <clears throat> He's got a hard job. Who wants to come up here and talk through all that science? Anybody? <laughs> I mean, I only know two or three of those words, and they weren't the science words. Um, but science is amazing with this company, and I love this product. This is my, um, I think, fifth time to see this presentation, and uh, I've seen it uh, in the U.S. and across Asia, and now here. I am pumped like crazy on this product. I really am. Um, I'll talk about that a little, maybe a little bit more in a minute, but... My background, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm from Texas. I'm sorry I gave that away probably pretty quick. Um, but I've been in the industry for a long time. I've been around for like 36 years. I started um, in, uh, when I was three, and <laughs> they still laugh at that. I, I started in 1980 when I was 20. Um, and I love the industry. I love what it's about. I love because any, anybody can do it. Any person in this room uh, can achieve any kind of dream you want. And I believe that in every part of my soul, that any one of you can do whatever you want. Your future it is not the past. Chris talked a lot about the past of what's going on in our regions, in our country, in our world. But you, you determine your future from this day forward. And this is a crazy, as my 18-year-old daughter would say in Texas, Sick country, S-I-C. <laughs> Sick means cool in Texas, just by the way. It, and I, it, that was supposed to be funny, but it wasn't. Um, <laughs> but this is a phenomenal country that you live in. And what we have right here at really the center point of this part of the world, you can determine really whatever you want, how big you want to be, where do you want to grow your business right from this one spot? And I am thrilled about that. And I think today what Chris was talking about, this is a university. So I think um, all the speakers today, we're going to try to give you a lot of information. So this for sure for me, um, I'm going to speak for about five hours now. <laughs> that's, that's a total joke. <laughs> um, I'm going to speak for about, 40, about 50 more minutes or so. Um, and I want to give you a whole bunch of information. Uh, Rachel and Lyndon and I, we all talked about it. And today, all of us as speakers want to give you content that you can take away. Take notes, take pictures of the screens, study them later, apply them to your business. But you're going to get a lot of information today. And the future of where we sit right now on this planet is pretty amazing. For about the last 10 plus years, I've uh, lived in the United States, focused on North America primarily, and then springboarded from there. And I'm new to this company. How many of you are in this company for less than 90 days? 
okay, we got a few, or I'm about 100 days or so in this company. And for me, my journey is probably similar to yours, that you had to make a decision in life. And for me, um, I've had to make a big decision in my life this year. Um, I was found, co-founder of another major company in the United States, and I had to make a decision uh, about would I spend the rest of my life um, partnered with the main majority owner of that company, or did I want to find someone else that I wanted to partner with and, and spend my life with? Just like you would as a distributor, you have to make those decisions. And I made this decision a while back and then made it a transition the last hundred days. And once I've come into this company, it's crazy what's going on. I, I love every aspect of it. And I, what I love the most probably is our future together because you know, we're only six years old and you realize the biggest companies in the world, they're 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old, 100 years old. I mean, six years is nothing. Just picture your child. What does your child know in life at six years old? They think they know everything, but they, they know nothing, right? I mean, even the 18 year olds know very little, really, when it comes to life. Um, it takes a while to mature. So what I, what I wanna talk through specifically is in uh, some areas of a, kind of a spectrum is maybe try to convince you, at least in your brain, that anybody here in this room can become a diamond with Jeunesse. And whether that takes you three years, five years, 10 years, whatever those numbers are, you can become a diamond. And I believe that. I believe that if you paraded the diamonds across the stage and really found out their journeys, that every single one of them went down some basic fundamental journeys that anybody in this room can do. That's what it really equates to. In other words, in this industry, there's not like um, spots at the top. And when the spots are filled, those spots are filled. No, that's not true. This company's growth is only in front of us. It's not behind us. The growth that we have in all these countries, we've only just begun. And I want to convince you, if I can, that you own your own business, that you're the CEO of your business, you're the CEO of your future, and you own that. And I'm going to ask you today that take ownership. It's not anybody else. It's not your upline. It's not your downline. It's not the company. It's not Rachel. It's not Chris. It's not the staff. It's not this event. It's not the doctor. It's you. What do you want to do with it? And you can use whatever we have as a company as a path over a period of time to propel your business to eventually reach these diamond levels. Because what I want to show you, it's really just math. It has nothing to do with necessarily characteristics, which were, it helps. It really comes down to math. This is a math equation of you developing a team that develops a team, and that team com combined with math builds this organization that spreads around the world. And next thing you know, you achieve these ranks because people around the world are doing your business. So I want to take you through um, a bunch of slides. So normally I only use a few slides, but for this conference, just trying to give you a little bit more content would be um, giving you some elements that you could really maybe take some notes with. Number one for sure is belief. I mean, every single person in this room, I mean, number one, you made it here. How many of you almost didn't come? Come on, if you were honest, I'm gonna probably say half of you almost didn't come because life is not easy and there's things that happen in our life but you came, so your belief is fantastic already, but belief is number one. You gotta believe in the industry that we're in. I had this question come up a while, just a, a couple of days ago. I love this industry. This industry is booming around the world, the growth of this industry. And you realize that the industry that we're in, we're in one of the hottest trends on a global basis, whether it's Latin America, Europe, North America, Australia, New Zealand, the Pacific Rim, China. People in this world want to own their own small business. They do. They just don't know everything about uh, the power of network marketing. Once you look at what network marketing is, it's uh, probably one of the best vehicles forever 
invented in concept. It's a hundred year old industry. Uh, the industry did about 200 billion in sales last year. Extremely stable industry and the growth in front of us is huge. Your belief in this company, and I, I've been a uh, due diligence freak my whole life. I really have. I've, I've studied almost all the key competitors in the industry. And from my last seven years or so, for me personally, um, I was co-founder of the number one competitor against Jeunesse. And I did due diligence and I had to make a big decision. Anybody here in the room have to make big decisions in life? Come on, are you, is anybody in the room going to raise your hand today? Come on. <laughs> this is too far away, number one. I'm going to jump over there, I think. Um, but you have to make big decisions. I made a decision, and fortunately for me, I knew the owners of the company, founders of the company, and this company has everything you want to believe in. Um, we have the timing of our futures ahead of us. We have the products. The products that we have already are hero products. If you look at the products that we have already before we announce this one, they've broken all the sales records in the history of the industry. If you think about this, there's been tens of thousands of companies that have started in this industry in the last hundred years. Why did Jeunesse go from zero to 18? Well, for sure our products are fantastic products. And I love this skin brightener because I know that this skin brightener, it targets probably the number two issue in the world, no matter where you live and no matter who you are, male or female, or it doesn't matter the ethnicity. See, number one issue in the world of skin has been and probably always will be wrinkles. That's e it's easy to, to market that category because I hate to tell you, but we're all, all of our skin is dying all around the world. Number two is hyperpigmentation. And this is in every country and every place in the world. Right now in the US, there's like 162 or something. Dr. Newman was sharing this number. 160 uh, brighteners that have come onto the market in the retail side of the business. All the big brands are targeting the US, which is just like Australia, all skin types. This product is a hero product. And I personally believe with serum and with that product alone, I mean, the amount of sales that we can do just in the beauty world are fantastic. So if I was you, I'd be pumped like crazy about this product because it's a product that people can see quick results with. And quick results with network marketing means what? It means ka-ching. <laughs> That's what it means. Can we all say it? It means ka-ching. <laughs> That's really what it does mean. Third is compensation plan. We have a phenomenal compensation plan, whether you're just starting all the way up through the ranks in our business. The system, a lot of the guys will talk about some of those elements today, but we have a global system that you can sit here right here today and be here from New Zealand and meet someone on a bus coming through this great town of Melbourne, that train, whatever you're on, and they're sitting next to you, and they're on there, and they're visiting, and where they're from, and you say, hi, my name's Dennis, where are you from? And they say, I'm from Tokyo. And you say, oh my gosh, my company's in Tokyo. And they say, oh man, I'd love to join your company. And you send them your website through the system, and that system sends them the Japanese website, Japanese language, Japanese currency, Japanese products, and they say yes. The system does it for you. You're coming home, and you go to a coffee shop, and there's a couple of people sitting there, and you walk up to them, and you say, hi, I'm Dennis, where are you from? And they say, I'm from Berlin. Oh my gosh, my company's in Berlin. And they say, I'd love to join your company. You send them the website, and it's in German. It takes it in German currency. It ships some German products. You see, it really is, it really is that simple. That doesn't mean it happens that way every time because um, it's a little bit more complex moving people through a, a funnel process, but that's what happens when people sign up. You meet them, you send them a website, and when they're ready to sign up, they sign up on your website in their language, in their currency, with their products. Chris talked about all the countries just in this region. 
just in Africa alone. I mean, how many of you are going to travel to Africa and speak all those languages? Nobody. I mean, <laughs> I've been up and down. I'm on a 30-day trip right now, which is kind of crazy for sure. Um, not sure which country I'm in, what kind of time zone I'm in. But I've been on just this trip alone doing events in the U.S., Korea, and Japan twice, two different rounds through there, Indonesia, Thailand, now Australia, and I leave here and I go to Peru, and then I leave from there, and I go to, uh, back to Japan, then Hong Kong, and then I leave from there, and I go to Vancouver, Calgary, Toronto, Montreal, leave from there and go to Tel Aviv, Madrid, Italy, and then back to Orlando. And this is a global company, but the key is this system will work for you all around the world. And it's very, very simple. And the last thing for sure is leadership. You got to believe in the leadership. Um, I've had the privilege to travel now my second tour uh, through this great land, which I definitely am uh, fanatically afraid of all those sharks. I hate to tell you that because <laughs> those sharks are out there, I think. Last time I was here, I was with Rachel and she took me over to Perth and I actually went in that ocean that weekend. Uh, I only went up to about my knee, but that's when two people got attacked and kind of eaten. <laughs> that actually happens in my neighborhood. You know, I can kind of go swimming where I live. Uh, and uh, so I'm a little bit more cautious of it now. I've learned that you only swim in, I guess, where they call them, what, netted areas, right? Well, anyway, and, and then... And then they said, well, if the sharks won't get you, the crocodiles will get you. <laughs> that was really reassuring because I was on the Gold, Gold Coast. And this poor little lady got eaten by a crocodile. <laughs> Man, I'm just from Texas. Get me, get me home, please. <laughs> and then we're walking to a restaurant last night, walking along a path, and there's this creature in the, on the sidewalk. And I'm with Lyndon. And he, he goes, Man, that looks like a spider. <laughs> And that this thing was like this big. <laughs> I said, are you kidding? I'm, I stopped. I don't want to keep walking. <laughs> Fortunately, it was like a possum or something like that. <laughs> but, but then he described a couple times he's seen spiders that are like, are you kidding me? Um, but anyway, it has nothing to do with leadership. But um, this is a fantastic land. We have fantastic leaders. I've had the privilege to travel now with these leaders that are the diamonds and the rubies and the emeralds in this room, and even sapphire elites that are just new in our business. You got great leaders that are committed. That's number one is belief. You have it. Number two is burning desire. And what I want to talk about just for a few minutes is maybe the how, the hows, the mental part, um, because burning desire, this is what we call in our business, we break it down to what is our why. Like, what's your why? Why are you doing this business? I met a lady the other night. She's brand new to the business, and she has a seven-year-old child, and this is her why. She wants to provide a future for the seven-year-old child. So every one of you has a why, and I think that equates to a burning desire. They're really the same thing. And for burning desire is the thing that is going to definitely drive you past every obstacle that you're going to face. Anybody here faced any obstacles so far building your business? Have you had anybody tell you no? <laughs> Have you showed anybody the products and they say, I don't want that junk? I mean, how many, we get no's all the time, right? There's, there, you know, the, the fastest way to building a business, they always say, is get more no's than anybody else. That for sure is it. You got to get uh, in front of people, talk to enough people that they'll say yes. But burning desire is the thing that will help you overcome that. The reason I believe is, I think most of our battles, even sitting right here today, they're in our brain. Anybody wake up this morning and go, I look ugly today. I'm not going to that meeting. I'm tired. <laughs> my people aren't coming. I mean, my guy last night, he's been with me for two, for two weeks, and he says he doesn't want to do this anymore. I mean, the brain is going all the time telling you no, 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 right? Anybody else? I mean, I'm like that. Anybody else really? I mean, be honest with ourselves. Do you battle this brain all day long? The brain, unfortunately, has this plethora of all the negative junk in the world. I mean, pick up any newspaper. 
And if it's not just a gossip newspaper, a real newspaper, pick up a real, is there any positive, like transforming, inspiring information that you read through a 50-page newspaper, a 100-page magazine, 50 hours of TV? Do you get inspired? Do you get motivated? Do you get driven to do more? No, it goes in the brain, and you got to fight it. So definitely burning desire. The third would be attitude. See, life is going to happen to you. Challenges are going to happen to you. Financial challenges, relational challenges, health challenges, all these kinds of things are going to happen to you. It's going to be up to you on how to respond. And I haven't shared this with a whole lot of people, um, but three years ago on my birthday, I woke up, my 54th birthday, and I woke up and I was preparing for a six city tour. And I woke up and I took three physical steps out of my bed and I fell over and had a massive, what's called a hemorrhagic stroke. Anybody here in the medical community? So a hemorrhagic stroke is a brain bleed where a blood vessel burst in my brain and I came this close to dying. I spent you know, almost a month in ICU intensive care and then I spent months in physical rehab that I had to start completely over from life, starting with walking. I couldn't walk. And I had to go through all the processes. Any therapists in the room? Okay, therapists are great people. They really are. You end up getting to know them through life challenges. And I remember I had to go through like um, occupational therapy and with hand movements and all the stuff of your life in your hands. And I had to do all these block exercises. I can beat any two-year-old in the planet right now <laughs> with moving blocks and pins. <laughs> there's benefits, there's side benefits. But I had a huge challenge. I had to overcome that challenge. And I was blessed of having family, friends, and a team that helped me overcome that. But life is going to happen to you. You have to wake up and have a, a, a desire and an attitude that's going to help you fight through that. The last thing I just want to talk about, and then I'm going to give you a few points, is trust. I think this is number one for me. It's always been number one for me. Going back 30 plus years, someone's telling me about a company. Do I trust that person? I look into the company. I start doing discovery on the management team, on the ownership. Do I trust that management team? Do I trust the people that own the company? Can I build a business? Because, you know, as a as an independent distributor, what do you own? You own your position, right? That's all you own. You have the legal rights to that position for the rest of your life, and you can also will it. It's an asset. So whatever happens to you, you can pass it on. I was just in Indonesia, and Chris would know his name, but I forgot his name. But one of the early diamonds and Indonesia passed away. And he willed that business to his father. And they, get it, they did a tribute to him at the Indonesia conference. I was there. And it was, it was the most moving thing you ever experienced. Here's this gentleman. He's like 75 years old. And he's just a humble uh, gentleman and they, that remembered so much about his son, who he was and what he's about. His son had said yes to this business, did all the meetings, made it to Sapphire, made it to Sapphire Elite, made it to Ruby, made it to Emerald, made it to Diamond, and continued to build that business. And then he fought a challenge which ended up taking his life. He willed it to his family. So you own this forever. You own this business that you ultimately have to trust in what I think is number one, obviously the founders of this company. See, this was my big decision, my personal decision. Maybe you can relate to it. Because all of our future, to a certain degree, is definitely tied to Wendy, Randy, and Scott. And for me, fortunately, in my journey, when I was having to make that big decision, I had to look around and say, who do I trust? I've already got my whole life into this other huge company that was number one in the U.S. How, how can I leave that to some other whatever? Well, I knew Wendy, Randy, and Scott for 10 years. Not extremely well, but I'd known them. and I knew who they were. And I began to have conversations with them. They were the same people 
sitting here in 2016 as they were back in 2009 that I knew back then. It's like picking up the same conversation. So I knew I could trust them. So trust number one in the founders, the owners, the future of the company. Put your trust there. You have to do it. And, and these are good people that you can trust. Number two is in management. And I have had the privilege to travel to like 17 countries so far. And by the end of this year, I'll probably have been in 30 countries, which means I get to meet all the GMs, all the different directors of all the regions, and all the other staff. This company is layered. How many of you love Chris Cooper? Come on. Yeah, how many of you love Rachel? I mean, gosh, we got Rachel. What kind of passion and heart does that girl have? She is really a ball of fire, is she not? And, and I know it, you know it much more than I do. This girl loves this area of the world. She's from here, but she wants you to succeed. She's not just a day-to-day -day manager. Julie, who helps put on all these great events. Let's give Julie a hand because she, she had so much to do with this event. You gotta rely upon the management. You gotta trust the management because they run the company. They run all the events. They run the product shipment the inventories, the financials, the staffing, they run all that. We got fantastic management. The last thing you wanna do for sure, the third thing, is to trust your upline. And I know a lot of you got some really crazy uplines, <laughs> right? We're different people, are we not different people? I mean, in this room right here, do you get to choose your upline? No, do they get to choose you? No, you only get to choose your sponsor. Right? One person. Then you, then you inherit a group of people that you, what Chris talked about. You have to learn to love them, care for them, serve them, lead them. If that's what your, your biggest responsibility is. Trust your upline. If they're in this business and they're connected, I know one thing that the leaders I've met in this company, I believe you can totally trust. What they're, what they're gonna ask you to do is a lot. They're gonna ask you to sacrifice. They're gonna ask you to believe. They're gonna ask you to work certain ways. I would just simply follow them and trust them. You're stronger together as a group of people. Not one of you is smarter than all the other people. I hate to tell you that. I know you think you are, because we all think we're really smart, right? We're stronger together as people. That's why they call it upline, downline. That's why they call it a team, right? I was watching this crazy thing last night um, on TV late. I'd come back in after dinner, and it was happening right across the street. And I th I'm not sure what the name of it was. <laughs> but you're playing on this round field. <laughs> I forgot whether it's football, rugby, or American, uh, rugby football, or uh, you got different kinds, right? You got two different kinds, and it was one of them. Let's just call it, yeah. It was the round field one. <laughs> And this was like hour number two, and these crazy guys are out there kicking this ball, passing the ball, doing everything in hour number two. Anybody remember what the final score was? 500 to 500, is that right? I know it was a high scoring game, right? A team did that. Was there one superstar that scored all those points? No way. They were passing it up, they were passing it down. This is an upline, downline. You gotta trust your team. Last thing I would ask you to do for sure is trust yourself. Yeah, every single day you gotta remind yourself. And if you're not doing this before, start today. Tell yourself positive things. Speak highly of yourself. Build trust into your brain. Believe in, your tr believe in yourself. So those are just a few of the elements that I would say on the mental part, if I could help you with that. And then now I'd, I'd like to share just maybe uh, 10 keys, what I call um, keys to this path to diamond. And just look at it this way, this path to diamond. If we looked at it, just it started today. Just say it starts today. Today's the first day. Some of you are a distributor by yourself. Some of you have a team of three. Some of you have a team of 10. Some of you have a team of 50, 100 and more, whatever. Everybody starts today. Key number one, and this is probably a forever attitude, is you have to pay a price for success. There's no way it's gonna come to you. You're not gonna attend five of these for the next five years 
on that fifth year, they're going to ask you to come up out of that audience because they want to pin you as diamond. It's not going to happen. You're going to have to pay a price. You're going to have to give up things. You're going to have to have singleness of purpose. In this industry, there's all kinds of companies that are in this industry. You have to make a choice what, what company you want to be with. And I would say this to you. Don't make a commitment to be with Jeunesse for the next 90 days, in the next six months. If, if that's your commitment, I would just ask you, you're going to have to reevaluate that quick. I would ask you to make a commitment for five years. If you re- who in the room wants to make diamond? Okay. Well, we all do. Everybody does, right? I mean, seriously. Diamonds, what diamond is, is simply a person that owns a big business that's globally, that they get paid whether their feet are in the sand or not. You want to be that person? Sitting there on that chair and that bore, bore, uh, whatever that thing is, drinking a... Uh, <laughs> I know one thing, it's not a Foster's beer. You don't want to drink a Foster's beer. <laughs> I've learned that lesson. <laughs> I think that's what all the non-Australians drink. <laughs> but you want to have a life, right? Someday you want to have a life of freedom, financial freedom. You build a solid ruby business, emerald business, diamond business, you have a great chance to have some of the most ultimate freedom in your life you've ever experienced. Because because you're in this industry, if you had a similar business that you own, and you own seven franchises, you own a business that had 200 employees, you wouldn't have that freedom. You might make similar money, but the stress levels, the hassles, the focus, everything, it's totally different. So everybody wants to get to Diamond. So things I've done in the past in building you know, organizations when I was with a company, especially if I want to make a serious run, and again, please, if you're serious about it, just make this commitment today. I want to be here through summer of 2016. Nothing's going to stop me. Nobody's going to derail me. This company is going, it's booming. It's going to be bigger than, uh, it's going to be two times, three times, four times bigger by then. We're going to be a massive company. I'm going to build my own business and it's going to be a fantastic business, whatever that rank is that you're shooting for. But you're going to be here five years from now. And then you break that up into 2016, 2017, 2018. And they're going to talk about all those things of how you build in short runs and every three months and six months and those kinds of things. But you have to pay a price. So what I would probably ask you to do, if you love nighttime TV, anybody here like sitcoms and going home after work, watching TV, I would ask you to do for the next year is turn it off. I mean, what good does it do you? Sure, you, I mean, you gotta have some breaks. You gotta have some mental breaks. You gotta go out and have fun, but you're gonna have to give up some things. You're going to have to give up some of those Saturdays that you're just hanging around, walking the dog, going golfing, going to the beach. And you're going to have to invest that extra time because 95% of you are part-time in this business. And you've got five hours a week, 10 hours a week, 15 hours a week. You're going to have to pay a price. I always called it, because I learned this from Zig Ziglar a long time ago, it's really enjoying the price if you think about it. If you're working Jeunesse 10 hours a week in your local market, what are you doing? Talking to people, blah, 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 blah. Meeting people for coffee, going to a party, going to a meeting. Your energy level is fantastic because you're talking to other like-minded people. I mean, so what that you didn't sit on your couch and watch some TV show, didn't go to a movie. If you didn't watch new release movies for the next eight months, who cares? You'll watch them. By that time, you'll be flying first class with Janessa around the world and you watch them on the airplane. You want to do that? (laughs) Come on, for free. (laughs) Pay a price. If if you really want to build diamond, and and I would probably say everybody here would love to be diamond, what if it takes you five years? Every single one of you. Summer of... Just picture right now, summer of 2016, you're a diamond. You're making the diamond income. For the last several years, you've made Sapphire Elite income. 
ruby income, emerald income, diamond income. You've probably traveled to 10, 15, 20 destinations. You've gone on all these incredible trips that the company pays for. That's why you're paying this price. And then you enjoy the benefits from it. Key number two is you don't have to do this forever. If you own a business, most likely, if you own that business for 20 years, you're paying a heck of a price for 20 years. That's usually what it takes to keep a business, maintain a business, drive a business, keep funding a business. That's just the reality of it. The more, the more successful your business is, really the more it requires of you. Anybody here owned a business that, that took off? And you, you were putting so many hours into it and then it takes off and it takes more responsibility. You gotta hire more staff. You have more government regulatory. And now they wanna expand in New Zealand. Oh my gosh, now I gotta hire staff there. Deal with government regulatory there. Oh man, they wanna go to Malaysia. Now I gotta do that. The, the amount of work that it takes. See with here, you'll pay a price for a time to get to those big ranks, but your enjoyment of the, the kind of price that you continue to pay. If, if I interviewed the diamonds in this room and I asked them how hard they're working, they are working like crazy. They are, they're busting their tail years later. But do you know how much fun they're doing that with? They're going around from city to city to city with you, hanging around, talking about the company, hanging around afterwards, having a beer, having a glass of wine. That's work. They're meeting people at coffee shops, wine shops, restaurants. They're traveling with their friends. Anybody here want to travel with your friends? Right? How many of you have met new friends with Jeunesse? Everybody. Is that cool or what? That's one of the benefits of paying the price. That price that you're paying is you're building relationships. Now think about this. What's the most important thing to you in life? Relationships. By far, over money and everything else. It's relationships. It's your family and your friends, right? It's what brings you the greatest happiness in life is the time that you spend with people. You pay a price here for a period of time here, you're having fun along the way. I mean, last night, I mean, how could I have not seen that spider in that road if I wasn't with my friend, right? <laughs> I mean, that's a hard, he said, <laughs> this was Lyndon. You know, hey, let's go, we'll just, it's right around the corner for pizza. I said, okay. And so we start walking, well, how, how far is it? Well. It's just like a, couple, a kilometer or two or so. I said, well, really, how far is it? Well, it's about 40 minutes. <laughs> and so it was really a fantastic walk. It really was. The weather was fantastic. We had a great talk along the way. I had a really good time. Um, I wouldn't have done that if I wouldn't have paid that price, if I wouldn't have come to this country. I wouldn't have been with him if he wouldn't have paid that price, right? This is what it is. Key number two is not forever. You don't pay those hard, hard times forever that work time forever. Key number three, this is a simple thing for me. I've used this for a long time. When you're meeting someone and you're bringing them into the business, people in life want what you have. You have to believe this. I think the people in the world, they need Jeunesse. Because once you get, did, did anybody believe that when you're on the outside? No. How many of you believe that now that you're on the inside? I mean, it's, it's so much different once you get inside, right? Then you realize these intangibles that this company has, the relationships, the money, the travel, it's all real. All you're trying to do when you're talking to people is give them the vision that Jeunesse is their vehicle to their future. Just think about that. And you use the system. You use the great leaders that we have. But you're just trying to transfer your vision. You meet someone, they say, well, why did you join the company? Well, my goal is this. I know that this company can help me reach my goal. It's a vision. So you're just trying to transfer that vision. I just call it the vision vehicle principle. Just let people see that this vehicle can help them reach their dreams. Pretty simple equation. Number four, manage your time. You got five hours a week. You got 10 hours a week. You got 20 hours a week. And I'm not one that schedules a calendar every 20 minutes and 30 minutes unless I have to with meetings. All I'm trying to say is this right here is ultimately you want to build a team. That's what you want. You want to be able to leverage yourself 
and duplicate yourself and build that team. You recruit two people, right? Those two people, you want them to do what? Recruit their two, right? That's four, right? Then they're going to do the same thing. That's eight. You want them to do the same thing. That's 16. Then 32. Then 64. Then 128. 256. You want that team of 256 to do the same thing. That's 512. That's 1,024 and 2,048. 4,096. And it can keep going. And I've shared that with a couple people. But yes, I'm from Texas and I can count just a little bit. Don't, don't hold too many things against me. Um, <clears throat> All I've ever, I've used this forever. <clears throat> and all it is, is you have two focuses. Doesn't matter if it's 19%, 81%. I'm just trying to give you an illustration. Every single one of you needs to have a customer base. Not your friends and not your upline, not your downline, you personally. Every single one of you should have a goal for sure of at least 10 customers. Doesn't matter if it's this month, next month, three months, whatever it takes. But always be talking to people. You want them to experience these products. And do it in a way that's just friendly. I would tell you this right here. The company, Rachel, Chris, doesn't sell anything. Wendy, Randy, Scott, we don't sell anything. The company doesn't make any kind of sales. All those numbers you see are y'all. And that is technically a word in Texas, y'all. There's all kinds of weird words there. I won't repeat some of them. Y'all make the sales. Y'all bring the customers. And how do you do it? You just simply be yourself. Never change who you are except in growth, right? Be your own personality. I learned this a long time ago. If you're yourself, there's no competition. I'll say it again. If you are yourself, there's no competition. You don't ha you're going to hear a whole bunch of speakers today. You don't have to be like any of them, none of them. Do you think I wanted to follow the doctor, this brilliant doctor that talks about all this science and I wanted to talk about this product? I mean, there's no way I could be him. I don't understand that science. He, he's got this, you see the skin and how many different layers and how many different words are in there? All I know is I got skin. <laughs> Anybody else relate to that, right? I can sell that product easy without him because I'm just going to talk and talk to someone that I'm going to use the tools, which is his information that the company creates. And I'm going to use those tools and point to that. And all I'm going to try to do is be myself. I'm going to be friendly. Hi, I'm Dennis. Where are you from? Oh, awesome. Gosh, you got great looking skin. You know, we just came out with a brand new product. Could I send you some information about it? Did I try to bring out the brochure and open up the cell structure and talk, start talking about the melons and all that stuff? No way. I would be fumbling like crazy. Can anybody do what I just said? Hi, I'm, just don't say, hi, I'm Dennis. <laughs> you say, hi, I'm Dennis. Nice to meet you. You got great looking skin. We just, I'm with a company that's got a brand new product. Love to send you something about it. Can't, may I? Could I have your email address? Strangers at a coffee shop, strangers at a restaurant. You go to church this Sunday. You go to the beach this weekend. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Nobody's going to the beach this weekend. Just watch out for the spiders. Okay? Last thing I forgot to tell you about was the fourth thing was the snakes. Everybody in this whole country has warned me about the snakes, too. I'm really actually kind of scared. Um, but fourth is managing your time. Build a customer base, every single one of you. You know what happens from that? And I think you'll find what will happen from that. People don't want to stay customers. They love the products. They start experiencing Jeunesse. They want to join you as a distributor. That's what happens so often. Some just stay customers forever. But lots of people, they start getting your energy. Oh, gosh, man, you're so positive. You're so happy. Why are you happy all the time? Gosh, I mean, I just love this company. I love being around the people. The next thing you know, they see an email and they click on it. And they see something about Orlando. They see something about a diamond trip. They see a trickle email. They come to an event. And those customers turn into team members. So if I was you, I would be, be, be trying to build, of uh, this next five years, I'd be trying to continually build customers and build my two-by-two two team and build that team where I continue to grow. 
and get up to those sapphire ranks. Get up to that sapphire elite rank and then take it from there. Spend your time building a team, but never, ever, ever forget customers are the, the bloodline of everybody's company. Number five is recruit up. And this is just um, something I would say that you kind of semi-target that you're trying to, if you can, find people, uh, meet people, people of influence, right? I mean, you don't want to meet the person that runs a hot dog stand, that's all they want to do, and they know nobody else in life, and they're not willing to do anything else. Some people just have no dreams in life. You know anybody like, I mean, some, of, some people just, they, they work their job, they go home, they sit on the TV, they work their job, and they do that for 30 years. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what they want to do. I don't want to change them. I want to find people that want life, that are ambitious, that um, definitely want to help others. So people of influence are everywhere. Teachers are fantastic. In this industry for the last 50 years, so many of the top leaders from all the companies came from a teaching profession. Why, why would you think that? They love people. They love to talk, right? Teachers, coaches, real estate people, insurance people, sales people, people in ministry, people in any kind of business that has influence, where they have a contact base. Try to recruit up and find people that are people of influence, that have a passion, that want to reach others. Number six, and I think we have, uh, we are sitting in this whole group right here, one of the most unique times in the 100 year plus industry, history of this industry. There's never been, of the tens and thousands of companies, there's never been a company like Chines that's this simple of a relevant business model with key products that people love that's in a hundred plus countries. See, it's never happened before. There's not another one like it. If someone calls you up and say, hey, you gotta look at this other company. Man, we're exploding. We're in three countries, man. We're just ripping it. Well, that's awesome for them. God bless you. Just do great, fantastic. That's awesome for you. My country's in a hundred. I just met seven people from all these strange countries. I signed them all up. Can I do that with your company? No. Well, we're going to go there someday. That's usually what you hear. We're in four countries. We're in five countries. Someday we're going to open up a new country. And then later on next year, we're going to open up a few more. And then later on the year later, we're going to open up a few more. We're in a hundred plus right now today. So what that means is two things. Number one is Australia is a gold mine. This is why I would tell you this. There is 25 million people here, about 6 million homes, households here. Most importantly, about 9% of people in this beautiful land come from around the world. And I'm going to just give you an illustration. You want to build home first. You want to build locally in your neighborhood first. A text from Scott Lewis. Should I pick him up on the phone? Ring him in. Hey, Scott, what's happening? <laughs> nope. But listen to this. Melbourne alone. Can I, can I call it Melbourne? <laughs> I'm from Texas. <laughs> That's how I've been saying it. <laughs> how do you say it? Melbourne. Melbourne. <laughs> it's actually easier if I just say Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> but just think about this. According to Wikipedia, 8.9% of the world now lives here. In Melbourne, Mel Mel Melbourne, <laughs> alone, 180 nations of people, their people have moved here. There's 223 languages spoken in this town. 5 million people. 223. You know what that tells you? Well, number one, you got 5 million people right in your backyard. How many of you can get 10 customers in the next week if you wanted to that have never heard of Jeunesse? I can tell you this. Five years from now, you can get 10 customers this, that week, five years from now, in your neighborhood that never heard of Jeunesse. Let me give you an illustration. 
I, and I won't say it just because of the crowd and I can't really see, but I've done this in all the other meetings. I've asked the Jeunesse distributors wherever I'm at, five houses to your right, five houses to your left, where you live. Is there another Jeunesse distributor or a customer? In all my cities I've been into, and every one of them in Australia, one person's raised their hand out of all the people I've seen. If I asked you today, I'm going to say there's probably 2% or 3% might say yes. You know why? All of our friends and our relationships, we connect through social media and phones now. They live down the street. They live three blocks away. They live across town. Look at your cell phone right now. If you pulled out your cell phone and looked at your last 25 calls, 99% of you, you're not talking to your neighbors. You're talking to people far away, which means your neighbors are forever there as a company. So build home. Build right here. You want to go diamond? If you want to go diamond, you don't have to leave Australia. Not at all. There'll be people here in this great, great land five years from now that 99% of their business are Australians and New Zealanders together. It's big enough. Plenty big enough. But then just think, that's just the beginning of where we are. Remember, we're six years old. We're number 18. If you take the top 10 companies in our space above us that are in beauty, wellness, anti-aging, the top 10, the average age of each one of those companies is 30 plus years old. So what does that tell you? What it tells you is this right here. Look forward to the year 2039. That's where we'll be. We'll be 30 years old the year 2039. September 9th, 9 p.m., 2039. I already know it because I've heard that thing, right? Then just like 150 million times. We're going to be 30 years old then, right? Can you imagine this country, this company that's in 100 plus uh, countries right now with the quality of science, the doctors, the nutritionists that this company has, the quality of products, quality of leadership, the management team, can you imagine where we're going to be 30 years from now? You see, I believe this right here is that we're the company of the future. We're not the company of the past. If you really understand this, it will help you pay the price more than ever. Maybe the best way I can illustrate that to you is if you take a big box department store. Like in the U.S., um, you ever heard of Norman, uh, uh, Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom's? These are huge, big box department stores in the U.S. All, uh, Best Buy, massive electronics, giant. All their sales are going down. Why? Their model was built years ago. The model of the future is what? Amazon. For, for those that want to buy retail, it's online, right? What we are as an entity is online, but we have boots on the ground face-to-face. -face. See, no other online entity in the world that's an online marketing company has that. I mean, it's like having an Amazon rep that lives next door. See, what we have is a friend. They're a distributor. They sell these products. But they don't deliver them to us. They don't do our customer service as far as the real. The company does all that stuff through an online system. I call this bu building around the world. I, I learned a long time ago, there's a part of your brain that's called the reticular activating system, RAS, reticular activating system. And what it is, is it's like antennas. If we were the kind of creature that would have antennas, that would have sensors, your RAS um, is always looking out for the thing that's the most important thing in your brain right now. Let me give you an illustration. Your refrigerator goes out, right? Next thing you know, you look on TV, you look in the, you look in the uh, newspapers, you're driving down the street, and you see every advertisement there is about the refrigerators on sale. You ever notice that? Let's say you want a new car. I want a red Audi. Next thing you know, you start driving down these freeways and you're seeing every red Audi that drives down the road. Before you decided that, you didn't see any of them. See, the reticular activating system does this. And here's what I would do if I was a Jeunesse distributor sitting in a land of just this city, 
much less the other cities that you live in. Australia is pretty much the same in all the cities, the big cities. I'll just use Melbourne as the land. There's 5 million people, 180 nations that live here, 223 nationalities. Let me give you an example. And I'm going to broaden that for, the, for these stats to Australia. There's 600,000 plus people from New Zealand that now live here. There's 481,000 from China that now live here. There's 400,000 from India that, still, that now live here. 236 from the Philippines. There's 230,000 from Vietnam. 198,000 from Italy. 178,000 from South Africa. 158,000 from Malaysia, 135,000 from Germany, 118,000 from Greece, 100,000 plus from the U.S., 100,000 plus from South Korea. The list goes on and on and on. Use your reticular activating system in your brain as you're at coffee shops, at your gatherings, and you see someone and you notice that person's probably from X country. Forget which country I named, just... Most likely, I can kind of tell, that most likely they're from another country. I walk up to them, hi, I'm Dennis. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm from X country. Oh my gosh, my company's in that country. I'm looking to expand my company in that, in that country. May I have your email? Can I send you something about our company? It's really that simple. Be yourself, be friendly, talk to people, and just say something very simple like that. But be on high alert from today forward. Work locally. Build locally, but think globally. Why would you not? There were in a hundred countries. See, this is where I think we crush the competition. Anybody coming into this great land, most of those companies are in three countries, five countries, ten countries. Okay? With Jeunesse, I could walk up those stairs and I could say, where are you from? If nobody was signed up, I could say, where are you from? And they'd say, X country. I'd say, hi, I'm Dennis. We're in that country. Love to have you do our business. Yeah. I could walk down the aisle to these hundred plus countries and I could sign everybody up. If I'm with the other company, I walk up the aisle and I probably can't even do that one section because the company's not in all these other countries. See, it's compounded math. Think about this. If you can talk to everybody and your team can talk to everybody and then their team can talk to everybody, which company will grow faster? The one that's got a bigger footprint, for sure. We're in a hundred plus countries, so use this reticular activating system. Use your brain, be on the alert, be, be intentional, and just simply talk to people from other places in the world. They are, they're right down the street from you. They live right here. There's another thing to know about Australia, is there's a million plus Australians that live outside of Australia. They live around the world. 500,000 Australians live in the European Union. The rest live in, tons live in the United States. The rest up and down the pack rim. You can, you can, I mean, every one of you knows a neighbor or a cousin or an ex-friend or a longtime friend that now they live in another country. You can simply touch base with them through, through social media. They're in, most likely they live in one of the countries that we do the business with. So what do you do? Hi, hadn't seen you forever. What's happening? Hey, we're in your country now. My business, let me send you a link. It goes there to them, they sign up in that country. So build globally for sure. Number seven, follow the system. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here. That's why it's in all caps. I've got a minute and 42 seconds left. <laughs> follow the system. If you want the secret to this business, and there is a secret, the secret is to follow the system. Don't reinvent anything. Follow your leaders and your upline and follow the company and repeat and massively duplicate the system that we have. You can, you can rest assured that the system that this company has is only going to get better and better and better. We are in a smartphone world. You're going to see this company more and more and more empower you to build your business, track your business, train your business, be communicated through that smartphone. We'll, the system will only get better. Number eight, focus on others. This is a really important one to me because I think the secret in life is others. I learned this a long time ago. 
You know, the only way you win in this business is if your team wins. The only, you know that? If you've got two people in your group, the only way you make money is if those two people go out and make money. Right? You want to build a, you want to, you want to build a bigger team? Help those people. How do you make Sapphire? Bring 12 people in the business, right? How do you make Sapphire Elite? Help those 12 people do 100 cycles plus, right? You help them build their team. Help others. The more you focus on and helping other people succeed, you're going to get everything you want out of life. It's just a, it's one of those universal law rules that the God of heaven created a long time ago. Focus on others, for sure. Number nine, I've talked about this, the five-year commitment, but have a long-term commitment, for sure. Have a long-term commitment, okay? Just as a side note, I'm going to give the slides to Rachel, and she'll pass them out through the leaders, and if you want some of these quotes, I know there's a whole lot of quotes, too much to write down, but I wanted you to have a lot of content in your head after the conference that you can go back. I, anybody of you use affirmations in your home that you have quotes and you put them on the, the bathroom mirror, you put them on your dresser, you put them in your car, you have them on your smartphone, and you're feeding your brain all the time. I do it all the time, and I'm way not perfect. But I, I got this thing on my phone. It's called Thoughts and Scriptures to Live By. And I need it all the time. I need to click on that thing and have that fed to me and go review them and read great quotes all the time. So do that. Number 10 is have fun. And I'm going to close with this because you know how much time I got left. I got 00. zero, zero. So the last thing is to have fun. And if, if there's one thing that I've ever heard my whole life about Australia, those are some fun, crazy people. New Zealand people are a little bit more conservative, more smart. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was a joke. That was a joke. Just trying to edify them. But this is a fun part of the world. It's known as a fun part of the world. You're a people group. The way I look at Australia, New Zealand, the way I look at the whole world, the Mexican people, I just call them people groups. I don't necessarily call people as their nationality of the country unless it's technical. They're just people groups. You live in this part of the world. This is a fun part of the world. Be fun. People want to be around fun people. Have a blast doing that. What I want to do is travel the world for you and with you. And I'm, I've only been in this company for 100 days. And I'm in all these different places with y'all. This is where I'm going. What I'm trying to do is help you connect this all around the world. I've talked with the guys about this five years from now. If we built one huge family that loves each other, protects each other, fights for each other, serves each other, I think we've done one of the greatest things in this world, that we can do this together. No borders, no politics, nothing separates us. We build one great border-free family, love each other, and have the time of our life. I love you very much. God bless you all.